That is Meryl Streep as Julia Child in a scene from 2009's Julie and Julia. That passion for cheese is something many of us share, but some have an appetite to learn even more about it. And for those, there may be no better place than Murray's Cheese here in New York City. It's been around for almost 80 years, growing from a local cheese shop to store, restaurant, even a classroom. One of its most popular classes in recent years, Cheese Boot Camp, a weekend-long session where students devour up to 45 different varieties of cheese. And that's just one part of it. We tagged along for the most recent session, which included two students from an unexpected place. It's really the only thing that we knew about making cheese was that you make it from milk. Yeah. Literally, that was the only thing we knew. Christina Badu and Gordon Dempster were just college students in Jamaica when their love for imported artisan cheeses turned from a passion to a purpose. We didn't even have a plan. I said, let's make cheese, and she said, yes. No one was making cheese in Jamaica, and we had all this milk from these goats and cows and everything, and no one was doing anything with it, so we decided to just go ahead and make cheese, because we love cheese so much. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea, but how do you figure out how to make cheese then? Well, we had a, um, we had a difficult learning curve in the beginning because um, we're making really bad cheese at the start, <laughs> using the internet to decide and to learn. And so in the beginning, it was really challenging. Yeah. Four years later, Christina and Gordon's impromptu idea is now a growing business. They own and operate their own artisan cheese brand, Outland Herders Creamery and Farmstead. What's the idea behind the business? To develop Jamaica. We want to show that Jamaica is not just, you know, what... Just for what, You know, and, jerk chicken and, or reggae yeah. music. We're also good with cheese and, you know, in some way help lift Jamaica up as yeah. a tiny country. Yeah. But with thousands of varieties on the market, making the cut takes more than making a decent wheel. So Christina and Gordon made the trip here to Murray's Cheese in New York City to take part in a highly coveted three-day intensive course known as Cheese Boot Camp. We offer the class four times a year. We only have 24 seats available in each session, so about 100 people a year get to come through the doors. Elizabeth Chubbuck is the senior vice president of sales for Murray's. She says the boot camp started as a six-week course in 2006, the result of customer demand. People coming into our classrooms and saying, we want more than just a wine and cheese pairing class. We want more than just a cheese 101. So how do we how do we learn to do what you guys do? So it wasn't enough to just eat the cheese. People just wanted to know more. They wanted to know where it came from. They wanted to know how it was made. They wanted to know what made it special. Boot camp students come from all over. I have a, a cheese shop in Brazil. And for different reasons. I'm a pastry chef, and I foresee cheeses going to be in my future in a big way. I'm um, the head of HR for a financial services company, so nothing to do with cheese. But um, I'm hoping that cheese could be my next chapter. I'm just a cheese fanatic and here to, to learn. Hopefully every single one of us in this room already shares by default is our love of cheese. The students are taught by an American Cheese Society certified cheese professional who begins boot camp with a lesson in history and geography. We're going to start, let's say, 8,000 BC. On the second day, there's a field trip to Murray's Cheese Caves in Long Island City, one of the biggest draws for those looking to further their education. Before they can even enter, the students have to complete a chemistry course on milk. Once sanitized and suited up, the group is guided through the aging process, known as affinage. It takes place in the caves, which are monitored 24-7 for specific humidity and temperature. On the final day of boot camp, glasses of wine and beer are poured for pairings classes, taught by industry experts. Has anyone had a Goza style before? And students are put to the test when it comes to slicing and wrapping different styles of cheese all skills it takes to become what's known as a cheesemonger. At Murray's, Cielo Peralta is quite literally the big cheese among them. Now we go back to Spain. Okay. You like a manchego. Right. You love it. Oh, I don't think I've Idiazabar had that. Idiazabar is like a little baby manchego with a little smoke. So does that mean it's younger than... Young and good looking. 
Watch. <laughs> Just like you. Oh, thank you. He can walk a customer through the more than 300 international cheeses that are in the front case at Murray's, a case which one day Christina and Gordon hope will have one of their Jamaican cheeses. When you talk about making cheese, you don't want it to just stay in Jamaica. No. You want to offer it to the world. Yeah. Wherever the cheese actually comes from, it, it, it's just so close to the land, the identity. You can't separate the cheese from where it is from. You know, it transforms you to a different place and it takes you there through the flavor of the cheese. So we want to be able to represent Jamaica through a piece of cheese, which is crazy to just think about as it is, but um, also magical to, to imagine that a piece of cheese can transform you to, to Jamaica or anywhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, mm, is right. And as we as we get to enjoy some you cheese, you brought free samples. Oh you are God. my friend. Yeah. Thank well, you. and Emily, our producer on it, certainly did from Murray's. I have to say this: the Jamaican cheeses that these two are making. There's a false banana cheese. It's made in a banana yes. leaf. It's a brie style with fruity notes. A Jamaican jerk cheese has roasted mm. pimentos, and even a Jamaican chocolate and coffee uh, infused type of cheese. Wow. It's amazing when you think about it. What they said: it transports you to a different place. So uh -huh. why wouldn't we? want cheeses from other parts, not just a France or an England or here in the this US. This is the one thing that could make me go back to school. Yeah. I picked the right day to fill in. You yes, sure you did. did. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I'm thinking now maybe we get a cheese plate every show, huh? I like oh, that. that'd be nice. Yeah. Oh, my